I tell you, this is the most exciting chicken dish I think I've ever seen in my life. And I'm going to share with you the recipe because it has leftover cornbread dressings, chicken, it's encrusted, and it is so, so good. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump right into the kitchen and I'm going to show you the simple steps to make this wonderful dish. The very first thing we're going to do is prep our chicken breast, trim off any excess fat or anything you don't want on it. And these are very large chicken breast. And you can get some much smaller so you don't have to do all this trimming and uh, cutting like we're going to do here. But this is the way I like to get the bigger breast and do it the way we're doing it now. So I'm going to take my very sharp knife, put the breast down on uh, flat on the table, nice and firm there. Put my hand on top and I'm going to get that knife. I'm going to pull it toward me right about the middle of the breast. I'm going to keep that knife as level as I can all the way down through it just slowly, you don't need to do it fast. And once I get through it, I'll come over here and hold that end of it and I'll just slowly work my way through the breast. So there we have it. It's basically uh, a, almost a, a butterfly breast is what we have right there. The second thing we're gonna do is, you can do this a couple ways. I like to use a big Ziploc bag. It just, to me, it just makes it a little easier and cleaner. Put the breast in the side there with that shiny skin side up, the presentation side as we know it. Close the bag, or just hold it tight. And then you're gonna need a mallet. Um, most people will have a mallet like this in their kitchen. Do not use this side. We don't wanna tenderize this chicken. We just wanna pound it out flat. So use the flat side of the mallet. I happen to have a big mallet and I'm gonna use that. So what I'm going to do, and you can use plastic wrap for this. I just find it too much work to roll the plastic wrap out and roll it back over and, and mess with it. This, this here is just a good method, and I think you'll like it a lot more. And I'm going to start at the thickest part of that breast out on the right in the middle, and I'm going to just kind of pound around it. I'm trying to flatten the breast as equally as possible. And so I'm going to just move around the breast. Of course, that's the narrow end. I'm not going to pound too much down here, but we're going to just try to make this pretty symmetrical. You want it to get about a quarter of an inch thick. I think that's looking pretty good there, actually. Let me just pull it out so we can take a look at it. Try not to tear it. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. Here's some leftover dressing. We don't want it to go to waste, and this is so much fun to do this. Uh, this is already cooled down, of course, it's leftovers. I'm going to take a good bit of it and put it right there in the, the bigger part of the chicken. I'm going to put it right there. You get a bowl like this to put your leftover dressing in because you don't want to contaminate the dressing that you don't use. So I always put a little bit in a bowl, use what I need, add more to it if I need to, because I don't want to contaminate an entire bowl of leftover dressing. So that ought to be enough right there. Get it in there real nice and firm. And uh, you want your, your dressing to be cold. It works much better. And then I'm going to just gently roll it, this end over in. And I'm going to leave that seam side down. Now some will come out the side. That's fine. Just push it back in there. And I learned a, a trick a long time ago. And I really don't know how I learned it. But just get a sheet pan, uh, anything, and take that breast and put it in that. Uh, you, can, you can grease the pan if you need to. I put it with that seam side down. We're going to actually freeze this chicken breast or get it close to frozen. We want it pretty firm. Um, if, you, if it freezes all the way, that's perfectly fine because if I'm making a lot of these, I'll do hundreds of them at a time. So our frozen chicken breasts are out of the freezer and you see they're hard as a rock actually. They, they don't have to be this hard, but they need to be pretty firm. Everything's held in there. That's one of the reasons we did this. Second reason we did it is our breading is going to bind much better as, as long as these are really, really cold. Now, how are we going to get this breading onto this here? Well, it's real simple. This is um, flour, one cup of flour, and I have exactly one cup of cold water here. And we're going to make a little slurry with this, and that slurry is going to help our breadcrumbs bind to the chicken. We may have to add a little more water to this. Maybe about two cups. That's pretty pretty thick. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken, dip it in the slurry. First of all, these are panko breadcrumbs over here. 
Um, I like to usually run these through the processor, just pulse them in the processor and make them a little finer. I didn't do that today, I'll just kind of break them up with my fingers. But I think it makes a little better breading on the chicken. And you can put sage in this if it's the holiday or if it's some other time of the year, you can put Italian seasoning, whatever. It depends on what you're doing, what your stuffing is uh, to go with your flavor profile. But put all your breadcrumbs in a pan up to one side. Don't put them, don't do like this. A lot of people will do this and they'll throw their chicken in. Well, it ruins all the breadcrumbs. You want everything to one side, right like that, okay? Then you have a, a wet hand that's gonna handle the chicken and the slurry, and you have a dry hand that's gonna handle the breading. So we're gonna take our wet hand, which for me is my right hand. I'm gonna dip it, the chicken into the slurry real good. I'm gonna take some of these crumbs and I'm gonna pull them down. So when I put this chicken in this pan, it'll rest right on top of those crumbs and, and bread the bottom of it. So I'm gonna shake off some excess, take my wet hand away, get it out of the equation, and we'll take my dry ham and work these breadcrumbs onto the chicken. Pat them in real good. And because that thing's so cold, they'll stick right to it. And it's amazing. Almost like a little magic trick. So I'm going to really press those in there. Then I'm gonna, I'll take those and take that and just set it over here on my plate and get it out of the way and I'll do the next one. So there you have it. Slurry, breadcrumbs, breading. And we're ready to go. We have a cast iron skillet on the stove right now. And we're going to take some tongs and carefully put this, these down in the hot oil. 325 degrees to 350, no higher than that. And we're just going to get a nice golden brown crust on these. Then we're going to stick them into the oven at 375 degrees. And it's probably going to take a good 30 minutes for these to cook. And when we come back after all that, you're going to be so happy with this recipe. There it is, we've been waiting about 35 minutes, our stuffed chicken with cornbread dressing. It looks so good, and nice and crusty, golden brown, 165 degrees internal, exactly where we need it. And uh, we're getting ready to plate this up. I'm gonna pull that one right out of the middle there. Probably go ahead and put another scoop of cornbread dressing over here on the side. Then we'll have our giblet gravy, giblet gravy, whatever you wanna call it. And we'll just drizzle it right over the top of both of those. We had potatoes there. We go right over the top of the potatoes. And I tell you what, friends, you, you're not going to get, I promise you, you will not find a better leftover cornbread dressing or chicken recipe than this one right here. It is absolutely tremendous. Now, what I like to do sometimes is let it cool down a little bit, and I'll cut it into about one-inch medallions and then shingle it on a plate and it makes a very beautiful presentation. Oh my stars, look at that. Isn't that just absolutely the most perfect? It's almost like a chicken beef wellington uh, in a way. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I can hardly wait to dig into that. And uh, I think you're really gonna enjoy this recipe. Thank you for watching the channel today. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. But like this video, hit that little like button down there. I mean, just this picture is worth liking this video and share it with all your friends. And most of all, remember, not only love to cook, but cook to love. And I'll see you next time on All Things Food with John Woods.